Good afternoon, everyone. Makadungog. Ma'am. Okay, thank you. So, mag-check sa tag-attendance before ta mag-proceed. May 10, 7.59. Kaya na 6 p.m. lang. No. 6, 30. Just lang ha. Kina pa ni Sulod. Okay. As usual, paliw kung ingon o present if your name is called. Just lang. Uluhan, Greg. Uluhan, Greg. Present, ma'am. Crystal Budiongan. Crystal Budiongan. Elijah Polinar. Elijah Polinar. Princess Mabal Malabote. Princess Malabote. Present. Present, ma'am. Samantha Umali. Samantha Umali. Joan Salcedo, Joan Salcedo. Christian Tutud, Christian Tutud. Mark Ho, Mark Ho. Ayana Bores, Ayana Bores. Cordel Corona, Cordel Corona. Juvil Chong, Juvil Chong. Juvil Chong, Juvil Chong, Cristela Alaba, Cristela Alaba. Kinsa na siya? Kinsa'y present? Chong Wang. Juvil. Cristela Alaba, Cristela, Cristela Alaba. La. Um, Princess Pequero, Princess Pequero. Brian Akaw, Brian Akaw. Mabilen, Mayabel, Mabilen, Mayabel. Present, ma'am. Alaysa Oga, Alaysa Oga. Carol Manteza, Carol Manteza. Carol Manteza. Ma'am, Akaw, ma'am. Kinsa na, ah? Ay, Akaw. Akaw is present. Sayron Acero, Sayron Acero, Erinia Valmoria, Erinia Valmoria, Rian Luka. Kinsa nang present? Valmoria, ma'am. Valmoria. Gliu Camrian, Gliu Camrian. Paolo Galuchino, Paolo Galuchino. Alexandra Hermano, Alexandra Hermano. Eko Escobedo. Eko Escobedo. Asa naman ko? Barbie Chano, Barbie Chano. Marty Senyara, Marty Senyara. Angel Minyoza, Angel Minyoza. Desi Ludaaw, Desi Ludaaw. Julius Hamero, Julius Hamero. Jonas Roa, Jonas Roa. Johannes Dayag, Johannes Dayag. Trisha Basoga, Trisha Basoga. Hala, wala. Give me sila. Present, ma'am. Kinsa nang present? Trisha? Okay. Yes, ma'am. Si Johannes, nabago pa man to na ko siya gi-accept. Wala siya. Present, ma'am. Sorry, present. Okay. Balik ko na ko, ha. Rian Glucam, Rian Glucam, Paolo Galuchino, Paolo Galuchino, Alexandra Hermano, Alexandra Hermano, Eko Escobedo, Eko Escobedo, Barbie Chano, Barbie Chano, Marty Sinyara, Marty Sinyara, Alexandra, ay, wala na day. Angel Minyosa, Angel Minyosa, Daisy Daaw, Daisy Daaw, Julius Samero, Julius Samero, Jonas Roa, Jonas Roa, 
Heart migraine. Ma'am. Kinsa na siya? Jonas? Heart migraine yo, heart migraine yo. Justin and Tia, Justin and Tia. Joel Budlaw, Joel Budlaw. Present, ma'am. Joel, ikaw na? Yes, ma'am. Okay, thank you. Hope Pabilian, Hope Pabilian. Hara Badilia, Hara Badilia. Present, ma'am. Si Hope or si Hara? Hara, ma'am. Hara, okay. Philip Tubal, Philip Tubal. Okay. Mary Ann Ampo, Mary Ann Ampo. Renzel Galeon, Renzel Galeon. Janville Gumahin, Janville Gumahin. Jeremy Saraos, Jeremy Saraos. Shini Albarasin, Shini Albarasin. Jetrel Kabigon, Jetrel Kabigon. Love. Lovely Galore Port. Lovely Galore Port. Boy, Boy Buhisan. Ay, kinsa na? Boy, Galore lovely? Port, ah, si Galore Port. Ma'am. Boy Ma Buhisan. Boy Buhisan. Crystal Ann Campos. Crystal Ann Campos. Chris, Chris Ryan Laniton. Chris Ryan Laniton. Kyla Roy Tabaranza. Kyla Roy Tabaranza, Ajay Balili, Ajay Balili. Present, ma'am. Ajay, Ajay, no? Aisel Dagaraga, Aisel Dagaraga. Mariel Joy, Kawili, Mariel Joy, Kawili. Present, ma'am. Mark Angelo Lumbay, Mark Angelo Lumbay. Erika Marban, Erika Marban. Present, ma'am. Kenneth Roa, Kenneth Roa. Present, ma'am. Gwen Orojales, Gwen Orojales. Present, ma'am. Roby J. Ramoso, Roby J. Ramoso. Present, ma'am. Ay, nasa yung Roby J. Doby J. Simborio, Doby J. Simborio. Present, ma'am. Amethes, Antiga, Amethes, Antiga. Duke Harvey Lincodo, Duke Harvey Lincodo. Serge Gabreza, Serge Gabreza. Ma'am. Yes. Kajut lang daw si Lingko do kay nag-download pa siya Google Class kay gireset na yang cellphone kay galag manggod. Pagreklamo lang unya kung na siya. JV yes, Kabahar, JV Kabahar. John yes, Paul. JV to no. John Paul Montesilio, John Paul Montesilio. Jade Lonoy, Jade Lonoy. Shim Ann Misona, Shim Ann Misona. Carl Butcon, Carl Butcon. Con Rica May Pulvera, Rica May Ma Pulvera, Kinsa to A. Kinsa to A. Ah, si Butcon. Asan ako? Rica May Pulvera. With Febby Bagongon, Febby Bagongon. Yes, Justin Turun. Ay na si Febby. Justin Ray Turun Nueva, yes, Justin Ray. Melanie Idroso, Melanie Idroso. Melanie, uh, Melody Shalana, Melody Shalana. Kay Sarah Madakin, kay Sarah Madakin. Cyril Alasan, Cyril Alasan. Jillian Rania, Jillian Rania. Okay, so I think this is it. Paki-check ko sa inyo ang Google Classroom kung naan na ba sa inyo ang May 10 activity. Tapat na mo na. Kinsa na, isa-isa lang. Pakingon ko sa ngalan. Ipang, kuha na lang sa konbi. Chat box. Chat box paliho. Kajot lang ha. 76 divided by 3. Ay 2. 38. Plus 50 plus 38. Delivery charge ito nga ta. Plus 25. 151 ako ha. 151. Yung matanan. 50 plus. Oh. 38 plus. 25. 113 ma'am. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13
So, when I open in call messages. Dayag. Na naman si Dayag? Asa naman to? 26 students. Dayag. Thank you. Ano naman si Dayag? Dayon si Gumahin. Janville Gumahin. Kakapay ba niyo? Wala naka-chronological order. Uy. Asa ba na ako na pangitaon? Naraday. Okay. Next, si Saraos. Saraos. Nara. Next, si Daaw. Daisy Lu. Daaw. Asa na ba si Daaw? Nandiyan akong kakita nga na ni Daaw. Dari ay... Naraday. Okay. Tayo si Malabote Lingkodo Kabigon. Malabote Lingkodo Kabigon. Ay, napadispikero. Malabote Lingkodo Kabigon. Ano itong Lingkodo Dere? Ito siya. Nara. Kabigon. Hi! Hindi ko na makita. Asa mo? Tara. Ay, na naman si Malabote. Kabigon. Tara. Okay na. So, that's it. So, paliyo ko access na na. Ako ay 32 ka-students maka-access sa Google Classroom nga work. Okay. So, let's proceed. May 5 activity. Okay. So today, um, ako ang goal is to do a lecture regarding your answers for 30 minutes. And then after 30 minutes, magbuhi na ta. Ako na buhian because I will have you ano, answer another activity which is due today at 6.30 p.m. So let me first share my screen. Wala, isa pa. Wala pa na-share. Okay, let me share my screen. Hindi na ako madawat o oh, incoming ako, anha? Incoming nga uh, students because Okay, nara. Magsugo na tag class. Okay. So, makita na ninyo ako ang screen. Makita ninyo ng May 5 lift activity. Fifth plus yes, activity. Ma yes, ma'am. Okay. Thank you. So, last week, I had you um, watch three videos in total explaining what is taxonomy. Anong importante ang taxonomy? Then I have you answer questions regarding the video, regarding what you have learned in the video. So I want you to consolidate to me yung sinyong gipang answer sa inyong hang um, questions. Okay? Para makabalag ikong nila na ba mo or wala. Okay? So taxonomy for beginners. So kaniya siya nga video. So within that video, I only have two questions. Okay? So based on what you have learned, gikan sa inyong gitan ng video. I'm saying lang gisight nga importance to naming organism. Anong importante mag-name of organism? Anyone? Several participants left. Oh my God. Anyone? Usin yung answer ani. Why is it important to name organisms? Based on the video ng inyong nakita. Hi, mom. Kinsa na asya? Si? Si kinsa to? Johanne, si Kao? Pali ko gingon sa inyo ang name. Kaya ako ang isulat. Who will answer? Who wants, wants to answer? answer? Wala? Any volunteers? Ask Johannes. 
Dayag. Kurek ba niya yung game muna? Wala mo ko rin, Monster. Si Joe daw ang problema yung iyong mga mic. Ako, ma'am. Ah, sige, go ahead. So, kaya pili ni mo, Johannes? Dayag, ma'am, dayag. Dayag, okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Um, it is very crucial to name organisms because um, it is where we can easily identify them. We can subject them to their, to their um, subjective species and it will be really easier for life because pag mag, um, pag dili mag we will, we will be, we will be really limited ma'am kay, um, for example, because ang nasa video mga good ones, I have learned what if that, that, or that kind of organism will change its color or So how how do we identify them? So this is or we can identify them to cater them to their perspective. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Johannes. No, so it's so important. From what from your answer, we have got to name. It's important. It's important to name organisms para sa identification. Because without identifying the organisms, we cannot um help um so ni help preserve their existence in the environment. No, isa ni siya identity kibali sa isa ka organism. Isa ni siya sa isa ka Pinaka important din nila. Okay? We have to identify kung kinsa yung ang closest that that is among the living organisms that present to Earth. Para if worse comes to worse, so may may tabog na lang mga organism, for example, if they are subject to extinction, then we can do something about propagating them by determining kinsa ang ilahang predators, kinsa ang makatabang sa ilahang, kinsa ang mga, mga, mga organisms ang vital sa ilahang, um, survival, kinaaman na yung relationship na kung ano, um, para si Tisem nga relationship, or kanang katong relationship itaw sa organisms wherein duha sila makabenefit, um, if they exist together, so na yung mga iyan na nga makonsider, no? So that's one of the reasons why we have to name and we have to classify organisms. Now, next question. Thank you, Johannes. Okay, Next, um, what will scientists look for when classifying organisms? Say lang tanawon kung gusto nila i-classify ang organisms. Any answers? You can read your answers. Tato sa inyo mga ipasa sa ako. Ma'am. Si Crystal Ann. Kacot lang nga ako sa isulatin nga lang. Crystal Ann. Okay, go ahead. Okay, ma'am. So, um, scientists usually generate their own uh, observable descriptions from the organism. Um, they have to make their own criteria first in order for them to know what makes the organism different from the other group. So, so identifying its physical characteristics such as how many legs, how many legs it has, whether it has wings to fly, and whether it has a specific color are the initial steps to classify them, ma'am. Okay, thank you, Crystal Ann. So, from her answer, we can draw no a scientist actually looks for observable traits na naas organisms in order to classify them. Okay? So, observe. Kung unsay makita nimo upon seeing that organisms, kung unsay different sa iya ha, nga maoy mag, maoy mag-differentiate sa iya between the other organisms. Okay? Okay. Di ba na akin yung mga organisms nga pareho sila kasagara o main features. However, there is one glaring feature. feature. Isa yung glaring feature that will consolidate another species name for them. Okay. Example for that is, katong na ada to sa kuan. I believe it is about, um, if I'm not mistaken, cows or goats. Di ba na mga cows nga walay? Horns. And then, na yung mga cows yung naapoy horns. So, they are from the same family. They are from the same phylum, etc., etc. Pero, pwede nga lahi-lahi sila o species na name. 
Okay? So, that's how they classify it. Nakuha? Do you follow with the information given? Okay. So, let's proceed. So, explain how Linnaeus came to adopt his own method of categorizing specimens. I think, um, ko ano na siya, no? Um, kasi tawag niya. I think, talagang niya siya. Uh, Linnaeus came to adapt his own method by deriving it from earlier methods na gina-observe na nila. Okay? And then, okay, how about this one? How does naming of organisms using binomial nomenclature work? Any answers? How does naming of organisms using binomial, binomial nomenclature work? Any idea? Based, Based on, on the, the video, video, kaning nga video, kaning crash course biology. How does it work? How does naming using binomial nomenclature work? What do you have to consider in naming an organism using binomial nomenclature? Any, any answer? You can read your answers. Ngayon yung kipasa. Anyone? Hello? Uh, Justin, Justin Ray, ma'am. Justin Ray. Kajot lang, ha? Justin Ray. Don Weba. Okay, go ahead. Um, the newest convention of binomial nomenclature, ma'am, according to the video, is using a unique two-part name for species. Um, it includes the genus and its species name. It is also said that the commonly used language for these names is Latin. For most people who were educated before knew that language and they used it to name the organisms they discovered. Okay, very good. So, they use Latin and then they use the genus. Genus na bilong, and then ang iyahang common name or iyahang species to name the organisms using binomial nomenclature. Okay? Very good. So, nananaw oh, gidi ay. Okay, any idea regarding the other nomenclature, which is trinomial? Let me see if I can draw an idea or I can draw um, ano, signs of prior knowledge from you. Any idea regarding trinomial nomenclature? Kung ang binomial nomenclature, kailangan siya magduha, unique, two-part name. Ang trinomial nomenclature will have three. However, how do you name a species using this way? Any idea or when, when do we use trinomial nomenclature? Ako, ma'am. Yes, Philip, go ahead. Philip, ay, sa kakachot lang. Okay, go ahead. We use binomial nomenclature when species are categorized by its... Um, um, category in the phylogenetic tree and its certain specific indicators using the Latin words we have uh, on the background of their knowledge and it is used in trinomial nomenclature when there are subspecies um, involved in this type of species so there is kanang tawag, there is ternary ternary identification aning a species para mas ma identify siya and mas set siya apart from the other types of species very good. So, so mo siya ang explanation. When you will use trinomial nomenclature, kung na ay sub-species nga mo exist. So, for example, katong giyon ganina, di ba na yung mga cows nga na ay horns na po'y cows nga wala. So, they are the same species. However, ang isa ka species lang is na yung horn. The other one do not. So, kailangan siya, magwaran siya o trinomial nomenclature for both of them. Nakuha? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, any, any questions, questions so far? None, ma'am. 
Man, thank you. So, let's proceed. Okay. Ayaw na ng aha moment. Okay? So, briefly explain why taxas are in a descending triangle um, figure. Ingayon nga nang ingayon man siya. Nanata sa classification ng video. By a mga basis sisters na siguro ni. Okay. Nga nung naaman siya sa koan. Nga nung naaman siya sa descending triangle order. Ano kang inga na ang iyang itsura? Any, oy, any answers? Why is it in a descending triangle order? Pwede na ba sa akong inyong i-answer na nga sa inyong ipasa sa ako? Kung ma'am. Gwen. Gwen. Okay, go ahead. Sige, ma'am. A descending triangle can be detected by drawing trend lines for the highest and lowest points on a chart, where the uppermost part of the chart is the more inclusive group, which means it has the most individuals in the group, and the lower part is the less inclusive group, which simply means it has the fewest individuals. Okay. Gwen, thank you, Gwen. So, um, in conclusion, Gwen, this is because you start from a very broad classification down to a very specific classification. Okay? So, from the domain, it includes a very broad range of eukaryotes and prokaryotes. So, you have bacteria, um, archaea, and then mga eukaryotes. And then, and then, under kingdom, there are more classifications, okay? Which leads to a very specific one. The, to the very specific one, which is now the name of the species. Which is now the species. So, wait for a while. I'll let you see an example of a specific na kuhan, the specification down to the very kuhan. I know, sorry. Balali. Ikan sa pinaka-broad na classification down to the very specific kuhan. Taxonomy. Okay na siya. Pakita sinyo yung screen ng slide. Yes, ma'am. Okay, ma thank you. Thank you. So, pila rin yung classification. Lima lang. Pero natin yung seven classifications, ha? So, pinakamana na sa domain. Ang domain is consist of um, the species, kwan, classification, whether it's prokaryotes ba siya or eukaryotes ba siya. Prokaryotes versus eukaryotes. Kasi may difference nila. Kasi may difference sa prokaryotes at eukaryotes. Ang prokaryotes, may idea? Kasi pinakakalainan sa prokaryotes at eukaryotes. Unicellular. 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 And then, Pinaka-defining feature nga mong mag-define mag mag sa ilaha is ang prokaryotes walay unsa? Walay cell membrane or walay nuclear cell. Okay? Nuclear cell membrane. And then ang eukaryotes na. Okay? So, yun nga na ang pinaka-defining feature nga different sa ilaha. And then, 
ang prokaryotes sa unicellular vida sila. And then, eukaryotes can either be unicellular or more multicellular. Okay? So, gigada na muna siya ang domain. And then, another pagkita sa kwan niya ay prokaryotes na atay, bacteria, and archaea. Again, atay, bacteria, and archaea. Okay? So, these are living organisms, but they are not in the same category as multicellular organisms like us. Okay? And then, under da yun sa kwan, under da yun sa kingdaan, sorry, under da yun sa... Um, prokaryotes na ilahilahi ng kingdom. Okay? Na atay plante. Isa pa. Kung may pakita sa inyo. Where is it? Para mas dali. I think na siya dali. Nara. Okay, muna yung lahilahing a kingdom sa eukarya. So, natay plantae, which is composed of plants. Okay? And then, naput tayo fungi, which is composed of kasagrap mushroom. Then, yeast. And then, we have animalia, kung asa sa nabilong. And then, we have protesta. Okay? Protesta, not necessarily unicellular. Most of them are also multicellular. Pero pa ng mga unicellular organisms nga considered as eukarya, kasagara, di na yung mamakita sa protesta. Okay? And then, muna siya. So, paha. So, muna siya noon na ay nucleus, no, yung nuclear membrane, sorry, na yung nuclear membrane ng eukaryote, ang prokaryote wala. Isa pa. Sa ba itong example? Wala na lang. Okay. And then, Um, kanini mga fungi, kasagara, ato siyang ma... Kuan, ato siyang makasagara, ma-classify kasagara with plantae. Diba? Do you know nga a mushroom is not a plant but a fungi? Do you know that? Before this class? Yes or no? Kabalo ba mo nga fungi na ang kuan? Mushroom? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Ah, kasagara sa inyo, yes. However, some other people, okay, dili sila makaingun ng fungi ang mushroom. Okay, nga naman, nung sa tiyong atong definition sa fungi, most probably, ka nang atong makita sa atong, di ba kasagara, ang definition sa fungi is The one that causes us to develop rashes in our body. Tinood ba? Or dili? Yes, ma'am. Diba? For example, kung katulang ang inyong hangtiil, and then mangangon siya, mamula. And then, kuan, um, murag ang inyong hangpanit will be wet. Murag siya gagkaunin ang inyong panit. Kung sa may inyong hangtawag na sa iya, ha? Tawag ninyo nga na saya ha, di ba? Buni? Kabalo mo si Buni? Alam mo kabalo si Buni, guys? So that is actually also a fungi. That is in the same kingdom as mushrooms. Di ba? That is in the same kingdom as mushrooms. Pero katulang sila kay... Um, kailangan ng host. Then, mushrooms also need host. Pero ang host sa mushroom is most probably kailang mga trees. Okay? Maunang dili gusto ang tao nga gatanong o trees. Nga na yung mushroom sa ilang trees. Nga naman, because because mushroom existing on the tree is detrimental to its development. Maka-apekto siya sa development sa trees. Pwede nga Kuan, dili na mag, dili na mag taas pa ang tree. Tungkol kay na kuwa na sa mushroom tanan ng trees niya. Okay? Kaya para, mura mo siya kuan. Predatory mangkut ni ang karakteristik sa mga fungi. Kailangan nila ka-coast. Kailangan sila mag-last, mag-latch o coast para mo propagate sila. Okay? So, muna na sila. The same kuan. The same, um, sa ni, the same, 
sa ni characteristics with some bacteria, but they are not the same. Okay? The same mga activities with some bacteria, but they are not the same. Kaya may mga bacteria na kailangan niya po mag-attach yung kukus para mag-uhi. The same with fungi. Kailangan niya po sila mag-attach yung kukus para mag-uhi. Pero they are from the same, I prefer, they are from different kingdoms. They are from different domains. Okay? Next, we have Kingdom Animalia. So, Kingdom Animalia is subdivided into either vertebrae or invertebrae. What's the meaning of vertebrae? What's the meaning of vertebrae? Nine spines. Nine spines. Nine spines. Invertebrae? Wala iba. Wala iba. Okay? So, dahil dahil mag mag Sana ni, magdaog kung i-classify ba siya as cordata, undersaying phylum, cordata meaning neck cordates, meaning na ibukog, or mollusk ka. Okay? Wala ibukog, na ay shells, shells lang nga. Okay? Let me see what other classifications are there under phylum classifications. Ang naka-release cordata ng mollusk ka, mollusk ka, is katong na ay mga kuan, ay mga coverings. Walay, walay bones, pero na ay mga, mga hard, hard parts sa ilang body to protect themselves. And then, kurudata, is muna siya itong na ay mga bones. Kasagara ay mga, um, exkeletons. Okay? That's the vacation. Philom. Philom. So, you have kurudata, na po tayo mga anthropods, anthropoda, and then, anilida. Anilida is katong mga, Paya sa mga ringworms. Kaya na sila. Wala kaya po na sila yung kuhan. Wala na sila yung hard parts sa ilang body. So they will not be classified with mollusk and arthropods. Okay? So, kaniling arthropoda, dali magbilong si insects, si clubs, si lobsters, si spiders, tanda ng mga arthropods ng inyong mga makita. Okay? Muna sila under sa phylum. And then after that, after classifying sa kingdom animalia lang niha, mag-focus lang ka sa kingdom animalia yung mga tatanabilong. So after yung mga ma-identify kung sa ilang phylum, identify na sa timun sa ilang class. What do you mean by class? Okay. What do you, how do you identify kung sa sila ang class? Okay. Ang initial ng identification na na is to identify whether they can lay eggs or they can give birth. Again, whether they can lay eggs or they can give birth. Kung sa'y tawag ni mo sa animals, kung sa'y classification sa animal na maka-anak. Mammals. 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 Okay. So, isa na siya sa education. Kung makaanak na na siya, then, most probably, it's under the classification of class mamalia. Okay? So, may na siya. And then, aside from that, tanaw sa nakuha. Animalia classification. Animalia. Okay, if dili kaya niya kuan, if dili kaya niya makaanak, if they still have to lay eggs or do another means of of giving birth, then nahi na sa dani lang hang class. But most of the animals are mammals, and then some um some are kuan. Paya sa Octopus nga sa pagalata. Okay? So, kailangan na lang nila makuhaan. Wait sa. Huh? Wala kaya po. Sorry. Next is ang order. So, the order will now determine kung unsa sila yun, unsa sila hang ancestors kibali. Kilisa, asa man na sila nag-origine? Asa man sila nag-nag- saan nila nag-evolve from? So, sa mga tao, kinsa itong ancestors? Atong ancestors are? Sina kapag ang nira? Primates. Primates. Okay, we evolved from primates. From ancient primates. The same as the gorillas. Gika niya pong sila sa 
primates. And then, ang atong family is kung munids, meaning, katong mga primates nga, dagko. Muna nang lihis sa kung munids. Katong mga primates nga, dagko. Okay? Pero, lahilahit ang genus, because along the evolution, along the evolution, nalaki na ang process nga giagian sa pag-evolve kay humans and kay gorilla. That's why, lahilahi ato ang genus. And then, and then this, these genus, they um paired by the specific name or common name for our species, develop our Latin binomial nomenclature for humans, which is Homo sapiens. Okay? Genus plus sapiens, mo nang tamo na ang kwan, kibali common name sa mga humans, became homo sapiens under binomial nomenclature. Nakuha? Nakuha, guys? Yes, ma'am! Okay, so these are the different taxas. Okay? These are the different taxas nga kailangan na to classify an organism. So can I ask you, asa na naman to? What are your aha moments upon watching the videos? Ito mga videos ang gaya-touch. So, what are your reflections? Say ni mga murag, nabago ang ilang inyong nakuna, about say ni mga natunan about Dani, nabago ang inyong hang nasatan regarding Dani, okay? Or say ni inyong hang, ah, agu di ay, ah, ah, mao di ay. So, can anyone share? Sige na, last chance ni you to participate in Orally. Me, ma'am. Dayag. Okay. Okay, tagal. Tagal siya. Sige. Ikaw sa una, Dayag. I need other volunteers after ni Dayag, ha? Go ahead, Dayag. So, I would like to say, I think it's the same. The other moment that I had was when I am actually surprised some of the animals have evolved through the years. The reality that we are more closely related to fishes more than fruit flies, and the fact that each of us has a connection we hardly think about is very surprising. And also the last part of the video where the author explained that the cats have three germ layers left in the fungus. Yes, I'm also a moment, ma'am. Oh, thank you, um, Joanne. No, so if you look at how we are built, we would never ever think uh, we are closely related to fishes more than the other um, living organisms. But it has something to do with how, um, so how species actually evolve from their ancient ancestors, which most commonly came from the sea rather than the land. Okay, so thank you for sharing. Johan, how about the others? Any other volunteers to share? Wala na? Wala na naman yung mga aha moment, eh, ha? Wala na? Ako, ma'am. Ah, si Philip. Go ahead, Philip. Well, ma'am, watching the videos, I realized that there are there are so many organisms living in this planet. Um, I was amazed that um, not only there are not only humans, we are very diversified, and with this realization, we should protect every organisms living in this planet because we are interconnected to one another. If one species will die, then um, equally we will also die. So we must protect protect our organisms as well as ourselves very well. Thank you, Philip. So, a good realization, no? Nga, dili lang di ay tao ang nai-diversity. Dili lang kita ang ang sanina ay differences. Other species also have a very diverse um sanina population sa di ay. And then, we are not the only living organisms here in the Earth. So, if one group of organism goes extinct, another group of organisms will be susceptible to extinction. This is a domino effect. And if we do not do something to curb the effects of that, or to do, if we will not do something para matabangan na nalila na siya mag-progress ka ng mga extinction sa itong organisms, then we have to 
Because this one, we have to do our 101% um, dedication to saving the nature. Okay? And then, naging po si Philip nga, daghan kayo species di ay, nga na po earth, but do you know, nga pwede pa na siya mong daghan because a large percentage of water or the ocean, a large percentage of the ocean is not yet explored. Wala pa siya na explore. Ang sea, ang sea kuan. Sani? Ang pinaka-bottom sa ocean, wala pa na ito maapot. Dili pa na ito maapot. So there are a lot more species to be explored. Nakuha? Yes, ma'am. Okay, wala na? Wala na? Ah, okay, go ahead, Justin Ray. Um, so, my aha moment while watching the videos was that I once thought that naming organisms ends the process of classifying them, but I was wrong. In reality, there are various taxonomic ranks of organisms. What I just knew was species and a kingdom, but it turned out to have six more. I was also amazed, ma'am, on how uh, Linnaeus put so much effort on classifying thousands of organisms in his book and also his smart ways in categorizing them for it became a big help to scientists today. Thank you, Justin Ray. So no, um, you know, dili na tayo siya kuwan lang sa iyahang sa ni scientific name mag-end ka na ngayon classification sa species. There are a lot more taxas that will actually help us trace ang ginsa pong mga common ancestors. Okay? So, history. Looking back on the history. And then, yes, Linnaeus really um, laid the groundwork in naming the, in naming the organisms para sa future ng mga biologists to follow. And then, this is actually a good way no, to, to give identity to each species and to give um, importance to how they actually they actually evolve, okay? After billions of years in the earth. Okay? So, thank you, Justin. So, wala na? Ma'am Kawili. Oh, Kawili. Maria Joy Kawili. Go ahead. Okay, so, upon watching the video, I have realized that it is so hard to, come to name uh, and classify a discovered species because you have a lot of things to consider before coming up with the final name of your species. This is the reason why I, I admire those who study taxonomy because just watching the video, I already had a hard time. And what else is there to do with John? That's the map. Mm. So, you realize, no, unsa ka labad sa ulo, unsa ka kakomplikado ang pag-ngalan na lang sa species. Ngalan na lang yung ihatag sa ilaha, pero komplikado na ang proseso. And then, there are a lot of things that we have to consider before we name them. Okay? Because mistakes will actually cost scientists a lot. Okay? The way that we put them in their classifications will actually contribute to the scientific progressions of um, identifying their lineage and how we can help them survive the changing earth. Okay? Thank, Thank you, Maria and Joy. Others? Oh, ma'am. Oh, Gwen, Rojales, go ahead. Okay. So, my aha moments, ma'am, uh, as I watch the video, uh, it is uh, it is inspiring how the news is really devoted to what he is doing, which allow him to have the works that he published and made him own with works that are still valuable today. That's all. Okay, thank you, Gwen. So, in similar words, Murag, you, Kuan, you value the tenacity na si Linnaeus, no? Nga maskin, nung sa pakakahago ang iyang trabaho, wala siya na kundang. He persevered. Thus, the, the labor that he did, bare fruit, nga until karon, kamulot pag-iapon mo na itong ginaso. Okay? 
So, so very, very good, good no, chaka mga insights, at least the ganun mong realizations right after you have um, watched those three videos. So I, I hope the rest, rest of you um, also did have their own realizations about this, okay? So now, excuse me, sorry for my voice. Now I want you to do this maintenance activity. So our maintenance activity na to is found in the Google Form. So, so, sama niyo yung mga buha doon, Dani. So, so, first, sa pakainan loading. So, first, you have to access Google Search Engine. Saan ang Google Search Engine? Simply google.com. Okay? And then, pangitaan niyo ang photos sa mong favorite animal. Again, your favorite animal. Okay? And then, imuha din yung i-attach din yung photo sa mong favorite animal. And then, i-identify na yun if your favorite animal is invertebrate or vertebrate. And then, after that, wala lang naman eh. Ako rin i-relate ko rin yun. And then, after that, you have to list three characteristics of your animal. Okay? Kung sa'yo mga characteristics nga nasa iyan. Yung mga examples nila, does it have feathers? Dapat siya blubber? Dapat siya scales? Dapat siya fur? Dapat siya shell? Dapat siya gills or lungs? Or spines? Or a blowhole? Or does it lay eggs? Or give birth? So, et cetera, et cetera. Okay? So, these three, three distinct characteristics of your favorite animal. Nakuha? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Kung sa IAG, nakakay pangutana? Ma'am, kaya ang full name, ma'am, full name sa anima, para full name sa kapan. Full name niyo, sorry. Na, ano siya? Ako rin yung i-potron niya, kaya mo lang na-drag na ako ang full name in section. Pero, inyuha na ng name, ha? Okay, ma'am. Inyo na nga na name. You will actually attach a photo of your animal so makabaloon siya siya ang animal. Okay? So rest assured. Balagay na nang yung manalad. Nakuha? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So I think that's it for today. That is until 6.30 p.m. Again, that is until 6.30 p.m. After 6.30, ako na dahil yung i-close ang Google Form. Again, after 6.30, ako na dahil yung i-close ang Google Form. Any question? Na ma'am. Ah, yes, go ahead. Wala pa po natin sa ano ma'am, Google Classroom. Ah, sige lang. Um, later, kung wala mo na appeal, please stay. Kaya ako mong i-add. Okay? So, questions regarding the activities. 